It is the small details which really bring a costume to life. G'day guys, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll see lots of reviews into equipment, lots of DIY videos about furniture and also costuming. In today's video we're going to make a set of medieval underwear. I don't actually know how many examples survive to this day of early medieval underwear. Uh, we do have lots of um, surviving artwork which gives us indications and there are some examples I believe which are in things like the British Museum and a couple of places in France and Germany but I don't actually know exactly how many survive. I'm using a pattern today based off one I found on the internet. The pattern that I'm going to use today is a fairly well understood uh, pattern for medieval underwear. Let's take a look. The first thing that I did is I made I just did the seam for the bottom of the trouser legs and then we joined the hexagonal shape here which is in the middle of the crotch I guess and then the two sort of rectangles together and pretty much what's going to happen after that is so each of those rectangles joins one of these sides of the trouser legs together so we now have an enormous set, but apparently fairly historically accurate, uh, of uh, medieval underwear. Uh, so we have the two, two legs, the two um, rectangles are towards the top, and then the hexagonal pieces in the bottom of the crotch. But these things are enormous, my gosh. I don't quite understand how medieval people could afford the fabric for something like this, but there we go. Let's take a quick look. So I'll be doing a video at the weekend of dressing up from scratch as a nobleman and also a knight. So uh, please check back soon, but let's try these on. So, could quite possibly fit maybe I need a cord or something in the middle. But otherwise. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share and I'll catch you in my next video.